Hello friends, welcome to your favorite channel IVMS. So today we're going to build a new bar challenge from Frontend Mentors called in F FAQ Accordion. So this is a tutorial, this is a simple tutorial that is meant for, for, for beginners. So at the, end of the, at the end of the day, we're going to have a product that will like this. Every time when I click and I do this over the button, less increase, get more views, get more views, less views, so that you can get all this. Out. And this website is also going to be mobile responsive. So if I do inspect, you can see I'm going to show you it's more about responsiveness, the expectation. Then you can see the background image disappears, and then if you enlarge it on live stream, there, there it happens. So, without wasting your time, just let's get on inside our browser. They have, I mean, our video features the code. This is my this is my code editor of choice. So inside this file, I've got these images. So these are the most important thing. So now I'm going to first of all create a file called. Okay, not inside this file outside create a file called index.html and i'm also going to create another file for styling i'll call it main.css then i'll also going to have a script js this is for javascript so like this one so i've done this one so now i'm coming inside this for let's create our HTML so they they it is so I'm just going to delete this section so that I can have the right content that I want so inside our text I'm going to I'm going to have a link on line 6 that, that this will link to our main CSS and also line 7 I'm going to have a, a link to our image fab container also on line 7 Get the, you get the title so now inside I'm, I'm not going to go inside the body now i'm going to add a div code fab fab accordion this will div will wrap up everything so inside the first div i'm going to create another div have div code f f card f fuck heading dash heading then i'm going to create spacing inside this div then i will set an image code i can start this image and we found inside the images for that they 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 have it then secondly i'm going to create a h1 text for afka fuck the then then also we are going to create another div for faq content so this one is inside this div we are going to create some spacing then inside the face sub div inside the fa faq content code faq drop dash drop down so inside this FA, FAQ drop down, I'm going to have a sub div code FAQ drop down dash drop down dash header. So inside this header, we are going to add our first H1 text code. What is front and main tool? As you can see from the design, we have got this heading. So this is one that we are adding. Also, you know that there's a button there. So <laughs> come inside and add, add this button with a class name FAQ icon. So come inside and create another div code faq drop down dash body with a second class name code open this second, second class name code open then come inside and add a paragraph text for this is the content that you find that is displayed here this is the content that i'm talking about this is one that i've checked in inside the paragraph text so come inside your browser so they can see so there's a very similarity so what i'm just going to do i'm just going to duplicate this 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 faq drop down as you can see this will make it the second one they are they're so similar but you can see from the design i've got one two three i've got four of these ones four so we are going to have the third one and then the last one yeah this one you can see so they are all similar in html structure this won't be a problem now i'm going to add another div for the footer so i'm going to say div class name footer then i'm going just going to wrap inside everything inside some paragraph text with some hyperlinks there now if you if you type in go live they just let's see what we have got on the browser so this is how the solution now looks like now i'm going to go inside our browser um, i mean i mean the visual studio code editor so you can see we have I've been provided some stuff guide to link up so we have got the font size here as well as some some color codes so this is what is what is provided by front end mentor to make my coding simple so now i'm going to come inside first i'm going to have a font font or import the font style 
then I'm going to style everything with my box size and border box margin zero, padding zero. Then after that, I'm going to set some root variables using this one, these values that have been provided by front end mentor, these values for the color codes. So we come inside our CSS. So I'm going to so I'm going to have all these four rules. So now I'm going to start the body. For the body, I'm going to set minimum height 100%, minimum width 400 pixels. Then display flex, flex the direction column, just by on a space between. Then font family and font size 16 pixel line height 18 pixels. Then I'm also going to have a background that will appear with no repeats using this provided inside the images folder. Then I'm also going to have a background color of light pink. So now I'm going to set a background position to top background size of 100% background attachment to fixed. So if I come inside my browser, you can see with the changes that we have applied. This one I was styling this background image. So now I'm going to come inside our styling code. Now let's style the FAQ accordion. For the FAQ accordion, I'm going to say I'm going to style it display blocks fading for to the top 40 pixels sideways, 15 pixels margin auto. Then the big then the color as well the background color then let's have a width of 50 percent border radius one rain and the box shadow so if i come in be, to the deck there you can see we have got a set the board we have set the box shadow and everything that we have got here so now i'm going to start the faq heading so i'm going to say display flexi align items to the center then keep 30 pixels text align center and fading left then you can see we have started this heading now after that i'm going to start the fa content this d this diff this is one that we are now styling i'm going to i'm going to say pay margin bottom 10 pixels margin then i'm going to start the fa kill drop down i'm going to give you a border bottom one pixel solid white then i'm going to start the fa q drop down header I'm going to give it a font size of 20 pixels, font weight of 700, padding 18 and 0 pixels. Then imagine bottom 15 pixels per cell relative case pointer. Then I'm going to start the FAQ drop down header H4 text. I'm going to give a font weight of 600 and width of 95. Then I'm going to start the FAQ icon. Icon. Then I'm going to. So for the FAQ icon, I'm going to give it a border 0 pixels with 30 pixels height 30 pixels background color of icon plus svg then background size cover background color in edit and case pointer and transition to 0.3 is position absolute right 10 pixels top 25 pixels let me come inside our design oh they can see they can see the lovely work that we are doing they can see the lovely work that we are doing inside so but now let's continue styling i'm going to start the faq drop down body So for the FAQ drop down body, I'm going to, these are additional CSS styling that I'm um, that I'm styling. I'll use them in, in JavaScript. I'm going to also have an FAQ drop down body for, or to open, this one is for JavaScript coding. I'm going to call them when I'm doing JavaScript. I'm also going to add FAQ icon to, to open. These ones, I'll also use them when I'm doing JavaScript coding. Then I'm also going to style my footer to size font size 15 pixels text align center. Mm -hmm. Then footer hyperlinks, I'm going to give them a special color of dark purple. Then we are let me come and take a look. They can see my footer is changed today. But you can see that there's not that there's nothing that is going on there because we haven't yet styled our, our JavaScript coding. So but you can see that the footer has changed. So now I'm going to go inside. I'm going to put some properties for media quiz maximum width of 760 pixels that's tablet views or laptop views i'm going to set the body with the background size 100 percent minimum width 375 pixels then i'm going to start also the fn faq accordion minimum width 400 pixels and margin auto so this is for our mobile view if you come in and check there you can see overview that we have just, that we've just used using java so now i'm going to go inside my my index file i need to link up to our javascript file here just before the closing body so below the just before the below the upper below just before the closing body checks are going to have 
our script link to our script file which could just call script js so this is the file that we have got here if we so now i'm going to do the javascript coding so inside the javascript coding i'm going to say document.event listener so i'm going to add the document code an event listener called dom content load content loaded so i'm going to create a function where i'll open inside this function so i'm going to create a constant called const f f a q container equals to document dot query selector it will select a class name called f a q accordion if this one then now we have another in event listener called f a q container dot add event listener on click so this is what happens on click and click a constant called group head is the target when when you when a constant code group head will be targeting our faq drop down header then if the group header is not clicked retain a const group code is equal to group header dot parent element const group body is equal to group dot query selector faq dash drop down dash body const icon is equal to group header dot query selector dot inside faq icon then let's have an icon dot class list dot toggle to open then group body dot class list dot toggle to open also set a const other groups equals to faq container dot query selector faq drop down dash drop down so and then we have put an other groups for each other group then if other group is not equal to group is not identical to group this is the function that will be performed const other group is now equal to other group dot query selector faq drop down body or const other icon is equals to other group dot query selector other icon also other group other group body it, this command dot class list dot to remove open this one will remove the open and then other icon dot class list will remove the open text so if i come inside my browser let me check what happens there you can see on click this is what happens we have completed our challenge so this if you like my content just for don't forget to subscribe and like my comment and always press on the notification button so that you won't miss other content that is coming up in the next video thank you for watching